For our recipe today, we are gonna show you how to make an Oktoberfest feast for eight people on your big green egg. So let's head out, get the big green egg started first. We'll get more of our prep done. Let's get cooking. We went ahead and stirred the charcoal, got that ash out. Now it is time to refresh with some of that beautiful Fogo charcoal. Well, as you can see, I've got the egg igniter working for me. I'm gonna go ahead and start that fire right in the middle. Get a good little ember pile built, right? Just get a good little base of fire going. And then I'm gonna go from flame to fan and really get this thing kicking into high speed. Here we are right at that 200 degrees and now is a perfect time to go ahead and add our convector. And we also have the expander system as well. Now, this is gonna become useful because we're gonna use the lower part here to make our braised cabbage and bratwurst and the top is gonna be there to help us cook the cake. Now, we'll go ahead and shut this. We'll dial the temperature. We're gonna adjust everything. Hold it right at that 350 degrees. While the big green egg heats up, we will go ahead and add our Dutch oven and take that top shelf off. Now, we'll get this preheated while we climb up to 350 degrees today. Let's go through the ingredients needed to make this amazing braised cabbage and bratwurst entree that we're doing today. So obviously we're gonna start off with purple cabbage. We have some green cabbage, uh, carrots. We have bacon, onions, apples for a little bit of sweetness, some brown sugar to round that all out. We've got garlic, our award-winning rub-a-dub, a little bit of caraway seed, and then some chicken stock and beer. Now, this wouldn't be complete without, of course, those amazing German-style bratwurst. So this is all gonna come together and make an amazing entree. Let's head over and take a look at ingredients for this most epic pick a dessert today. Today's dessert, German apple cake with candied walnuts can't be beat. We're gonna start off with four cups of red apples. We've got some candied walnuts. We've got a little bit of cane sugar, a little bit of brown sugar, some all-purpose flour, two eggs. We've got a cup of oil, and then we're gonna uh, season up a little bit of salt, some cinnamon, allspice, a little bit of baking soda, and then vanilla paste or vanilla extract. We're gonna cook everything right here in our big green egg cake pan. And I'll tell you what, this dessert is going to be definitely top notch. Next, we're gonna show you how to make the apple cake because we wanna get that done first while the grill is heating up. That way, really, it becomes choreographing one amazing meal. First thing we're gonna do for the dessert is we're gonna add that flour into a bowl. We'll go ahead and add our cinnamon add our allspice, our salt, our baking soda, and then we'll go ahead and give this a little whisk. We went ahead and added our eggs. We'll go ahead and add our oil in there. And then using a whisk, we're gonna go ahead and whisk the eggs in the oil until it's creamy, until it looks a little bit emulsified and we have a good mixture here. So just give it a couple seconds. We're not rushing it, right? And just like that, give it a good whisk. And that is exactly what we're looking for right there. Now, we'll go ahead, whoops, we'll go ahead and add our sugar. Uh, that is our granulated sugar. This is our dark brown sugar. And then, like I said, vanilla paste or vanilla extract. You pick which one you like. We'll go ahead and add that as well. And then next, we're gonna mix this until it's all combined like that. We'll go through and chop up any of those brown sugar clumps, but go through and get this all mixed up until it's light and creamy. And then when we come right back, we're gonna show you how to incorporate the flour, the apples, the walnuts, all of that good stuff. So we have the sugar, eggs, oil, all that mix. We're gonna go ahead and add our flour mixture and I'm just gonna slowly hand mix this in just until it gets about half incorporated. Wanna just get that mixed in nicely like so. All right, once that's about halfway like that, we'll go ahead and add the walnuts to there. Those are just candied walnuts, convenience ones I got at the store. We're gonna add four cups of diced apples, just rough dice. Now, here's the thing. You can uh, use uh, any apple you want. I love those red apples. I think they come out really, really nice. Uh, and then again, just rough dice them. And for four cups, you're looking at about six medium-sized apples. So now, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just fold everything in, mix everything in here together, like that. Keep stirring it until it's all mixed up using a little bit of the moisture out of those apples to help everything come together. We went ahead and sprayed the pan pretty, pretty heavy with pan spray. Now, uh, nine by 13 pan works great. I'm actually using my uh, base for my big green egg roasting pan because it was convenient and right in front of me and good to go. So now what I'm going to do is carefully transfer this all over into that pan. 
right? Like so. Get all that wonderful, juicy deliciousness out of there. Like that. Then go through and just push this down into the pan in a nice, flat, even layer. Hey, if it happens to stick to your gloves, don't worry about it. Make sure it gets back off there into the pan and you'll be good to go. All right, just like that, check it out. All of our prep work is done. We've got the apple walnut cake. We've got all the prep for the braised cabbage and we've got the brats ready. Now it's time to head out on the big green egg. Let's get cooking. We're sitting right at 350. Let's give the egg a burp. We'll open it slowly. Our Dutch oven is ready to go, so we're gonna go ahead and add that bacon in there. I like to break it into little clumps. Now, we'll make sure we've got it all broken up here so we don't have any big chunks, and then we'll go ahead and shut the lid. We're gonna cook this for 10 minutes now so we can start to render off a little bit of that bacon fat. Here we are, right after 10 minutes, we will give it a burp, and that bacon looks amazing. Now, we're gonna go ahead and give it a stir quick, and then we will add to that our caraway seeds. We're gonna add into that our onions, and then we're going to add into that our garlic. Now, we'll go ahead and get all this stirred up real quick here. We're gonna let this cook. So we'll close the dome, let this cook now for five minutes. Then we'll come back, keep going. Look at that, holding strong right at 350. Okay, give it a burp here real quick. After five minutes of cooking, those onions and caraway seeds are perfectly right where we want it. We're gonna go ahead now and add our green cabbage, our red cabbage. We're gonna add our apples and we're gonna add our carrots. Now, what I'll do is go ahead and just give this a quick stir just to get everything kind of combined a little bit. We're gonna close the lid. We're gonna let this cook now for 10 minutes. We'll see you back here in 10 minutes. Give it a burp. Let's check in on that cabbage. Looks good, right? Time to add our one beer. That's a 12 ounce can of beer. Time to add our two cups of stock to that. And then we'll add our brown sugar. Give it a little bit of sweetness. We'll add our rub-a-dub, give it a little bit of seasoning. Then we'll go ahead and give this a quick stir like so. Now, this is all combined and ready to go, right? So we're gonna let this cook now for 20 minutes, but hold on, when we come back, I wanna show you what we've added to the mix now, creating our entire meal on one grill. Well, there you go, check it out. Obviously, we added those brats to the mix. Now I'm gonna put the convector top on here, and I'm also gonna add the cake to the mix. So now, 350 degrees, one grill, we're gonna be baking off our cake, roasting our brats, braising our cabbage. Let's close it. Here we are after 10 minutes of cooking. Let's check in on everything. Oh, look at that, that cake looks amazing. Now, at the 10 minute mark, I'm gonna flip these brats over, give these guys a chance to, uh, cook on both sides, get a little bit of color. They look good, this smells absolutely amazing in here, and I'll tell you what, pretty cool, right? Everything on one grill. Close this up, another 10 minutes, we'll check back. All right, we'll give it a burp, open it up, and oh my word, look at that. Now, this is right after 20 minutes of cooking, so what I wanna do is do a little uh, toothpick check on the cake, right? And if you can see that, we still have a little bit of dough sticking there, right? Or cake batter sticking. So I'm gonna shut this now, cook it in five minute intervals uh, until I make sure that cake is done. And I also checked the sausage. Those came in right at about 150. So we have a couple minutes left to go. So let's close the lid. Let's keep going for about another five minutes. We'll come back and check in. All right, we'll give the egg a burp here real quick. We added another five minutes onto this above and beyond that first five minutes. Cake is all done, toothpick pulled out clean, uh, braised cabbage is done, and sausage is done. We'll go ahead and get this off the grill. I'll see you in the kitchen. Well, in 55 to 65 minutes, you can have an Oktoberfest feast for your crowd of eight. Now, I'll tell you what, if you're looking for another great meal that can serve a crowd, check out our wok fried rice. That video is coming up next.